Hey fellow gamers, Chatty Sisa here. We are going to continue with the Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition playthrough with the M11 suppressor only. And we are going to finish the priority mission on Mars. And the next one will be the priority citadel, which is basically just meeting the council and chat with a couple of people on the citadel. So I will just cut out the most important portions for you. Uh, let's not forget there are also timestamps for you. So if you want to skip to a certain part, you can look at the description below and look at the timestamps there. Also from my side, thank you very much to everyone who has already subscribed in the meantime. And if you like the content that I'm doing here, please feel free to subscribe as well, or at least give a like and share. It would be really greatly appreciated from my side. Thank you very much and let's continue the gameplay. This is where they studied the various relics on Earth here. What did they find? More than I could describe in a short conversation. And they'd only scratched the surface. There are vaults filled with Prothean data troves that have never been studied. Yeah, and we had them for 30 years. That's so typically human. <laughs> okay. I'll be rather quiet. That's the tramline. Takes so. us right to the archives. No doubt Cerberus has it locked down. Hopefully we can override it at the security station. It's just through here. Yeah, and I need ammo. <laughs> and no clips inside. Okay. They're slow. Ah, yes, this one. Oof. That's an understatement. I take it that's the only way in. It's the only way I know of. We'll skirt around it. Stay out of its sights. Mm. I'll move up first. <laughs> I'm not so good at this part. <laughs> Don't let it target you. Yeah, I heard you. Let's move. Okay. So far, so good. Mm. Watch it. What's wrong? Ouch. Yeah, like I said, I'm not so good. Uh, okay. Watch it. Yeah, that wasn't exactly sprinting. <laughs> Just march out. Okay. Ow. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I'm not good at this one. Okay. Okay. Shit! Okay. Yeah, move to the edge and press middle mouse button. Okay, it didn't work Watch at it. first. Clear. The turret can't fire on us from here. Yeah, but these people here can. <laughs> okay. One singularity, please. Boom. That was nice. Okay. Why is this? Oh. He's hiding there. Okay. Okay. You just take a five minute break to make yourself a coffee and now you suddenly left, have two left hands. <laughs> that was bad. Okay. I have more ammo now, okay. Set up a perimeter. No one else comes across. We still have teams on the other side. Doctor. No one. And shut down those cameras. Doctor Looks like Death. they've made it to the archives. And I doubt they'll just send us a tram. Can you override it? The archives are on a separate network. We're completely locked out. Not if we can find a short-range communicator, helmet to helmet. And? 
and we convince them that we're on their side. Tell them the Alliance forces have been taken care of. Good idea. See what you can find. What? The Major has become very capable. <laughs> that slight pause. Very Shepherd. capable. <laughs> I found something. <laughs> yeah, the voice acting here is awesome. What have you got? He's got a transmitter in his helmet. If I can... My god. It looks like a husk. Yeah, not quite. Glowing They've definitely eyes. done something to him. And by they, you mean Cerberus? They did this to their own guy? Is this what they did to you? <laughs> Logically, my question will be how can you say that? <laughs> Kaden and this Cerberus crab, I mean, yeah. And how, how can you even ask this nonsense? Ugh. How can you compare me to him? Uh, Shepard, I don't know what you are, or who. Not since Cerberus rebuilt you. For all I know, you could be their puppet. Controlled by hey, the okay, elusive good. man he himself. He has a point. Caden... Don't try and explain it. I don't think I'd understand anyway. I just want to know, is the person that I followed to hell and back, the person that I loved, are you still in there? Somewhere. Hmm. Okay, I did romance Caden in Mass Effect 1 and then in Mass Effect 2 I think I've I've romanced Geros for this playthrough. Hmm. Yeah, I would like to stay with Geros. You, Cerberus, it's all in the past now, Caden. We have a war to fight, and that is all that matters. Understood. Good. Come on, let's see what Cerberus is up to. Maybe we'll both get some answers. Yeah, that wasn't the nicest way to say it. Hello, this is Delta Team. Anybody there? Where the hell have you been? Yeah, nobody would wonder why our female voice is suddenly speaking. We're at the tram station, waiting for extraction. All hostiles terminated. Roger that. Echo Team will ride All of them so far have been male, yeah. I think they bought it. They didn't. They'll figure it out soon enough. We should get in position. Flank them when they get off the tram. Good thinking, Major. Okay. Affirmative. Okay, let's put Got it. Kira here. And let's hide here. And here they come. I think here they come. Is Singularity again. Oh, yeah. Oh. Anyone still there? Oh, yeah. That was a nice shot. I love this weapon. Okay, ah, we have 70 now. Okay, good. So let's continue. You probably don't see how much ammo I have because of my face down there. Down there. The archives are right on the other side. That and a squad of angry Cerberus troops. Yep. And a small bomb. And again, singularity. Got to love Liara's singularity. And yeah. Okay. Yeah, 
let's go. Damn, they really didn't want us nice. getting in here. Yes, it confirms my assertions about the value of the data stored here. Oof. Bah. <laughs> <sighs> it's just a game and I still don't feel well when I look down. Uh. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the next part. I hope my ammo will last. <laughs> okay, let's let's hide here. Okay. Yeah, and there we go. That was a nice headshot. With that small pistol. I like that. Okay. Yeah, let's... Let's get rid of you and you and you. Okay. I wanted the singularity. Okay. Nice. Uh, let's try to shoot him again. Ah, uh, that's good. Like I said, I like this weapon. I'm not sure why the people were complaining. Anybody else? No, doesn't look that way. Ammo, ammo. Okay. Let's pick this up and let's pick also this up. And let's pick this up. Good. And just in case, let's save. Okay, journals again. Showing something unread. And let's save. I like that you can see the real weapons now in the vid. So it's not like you get the standard ones. Caden. But you see the real ones which they are actually having. So that's that's a nice thing. It was awful. I think it was in the first one or two games where you could just see the like standard weapons and not the ones which you were really carrying. So this is a nice uh, touch. Uh. Shepherd, Elusive man. Fascinating race, the Protheans. They left all this for us to discover, but we squandered it. The Alliance has known about the Archives for more than 30 years. And what have they done with it? What do you want? I have to agree with him, he what has I've a point. What I've always wanted. The data in these artifacts holds the key to solving the Reaper threat. I've seen your solution. Your people are turned into monsters. Hardly. They're being improved. Mm, yeah. Improved? <laughs> into That's husks. what separates us, Shepard. Where you see a means to destroy, I see a way to control, to dominate and harness the Reaper's power. Imagine you sound like a corporate CEO. <laughs> if we control them. Ugh, <sighs> yeah. 
Earth is under siege and you're hatching a scheme to control the Reapers? Anyone can destroy. But great civilizations do more. You know that. It's why you kept the Collector base intact. I gave you that base <sighs> to find a way to stop the Reapers. How could I? This isn't your fight any longer, Shepard. You can't defeat the Reapers, even with the Prothean data. Oof. Yeah, uh, we're not going to be nice to the, this guy. Mm -mm. You brought me back because you knew what I could do. I can defeat them. Doubtful. The odds aren't in your favor. More importantly, yeah, they aren't in your I don't favor want either. The Reapers destroyed. We can dominate them, use their power, mm -hmm. harness their very essence to bring humanity to the apex of evolution. It's not the elusive man, that's the delusional man. <laughs> Yeah, you're deluded. <laughs> You've gone too far. The Reapers will kill us all if we don't stop fighting each other. I don't expect you to understand, Shepard. Yeah, and I'm yeah. certainly not looking for your approval. You were a tool. An agent with a singular purpose. In that, you were successful. Yeah, there's another agent right there. Yeah. But like mm. the rest of the relics in this place, your time is over. Enough talk. Liara? Don't interfere with my plan, Shepard. I won't warn you again. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Duly noted. Shepard! What? I think we're going to interfere the data, quite a lot. Here. It's being erased. Goodbye, Shepard. Damn it! Yeah. How's he doing it? It's local. Someone's uploading the information. <laughs> Doctor Death. Hey, step away from the console. Ouch. Now. Yeah, careful. Uh. Mm. She's got the data. She's faster than she looks. Yeah, we are too. We can't lose her. Oh, come on. And <laughs> that, that weapon that Liara has sounds awful. <laughs> okay, what was that? Ah. There she is. Stay on her. She's getting away. Okay, we need to be more quick. Come on. Watch out! Uh, Esther. Uh, okay. Ah, now we got her. Jake, oh, you read me? Come on. Cerberus has the data. Ouch. Radio the Normandy. Get them down here Damn. now. Come on. And here comes Normandy. the tank. Anybody? <laughs> Destroying property. I got this one. And us in the process. That was close. What the landing? <laughs> Normandy's on route. They'll be here soon. We need the data. Yeah, I think the data is pretty much alive. Lovely. This one wasn't so Orders. nice. 
dispose of him. Uh. No! Ouch. Ah, okay. Managed. Poor Caden. Grab that thing! Bring it with us. Shepard! We got Reaper signatures in orbit! I mean, Shepard is a soldier and I'm pretty sure she's well trained. That's fine, but... I'm not sure if she would be so easily carrying Caden like that. Nice view. Caden needs medical attention. Yeah, I know, Leo. We have to leave the soul system. I know. The Citadel is our best chance. We can find help there. Get us to the Citadel, Joker. Roger that. Hold on, Caden. See what you and Edie can learn from that thing. Commander, I'm receiving a signal over the secondary QEC. I believe it's Admiral Hackett. Patch me through. I'll forward it to the call room. Oh, poor Caden. Oh. Commander. Edie, can you clear this up? I'll do my best. Did you get to the archives? I was there. So is the elusive man. I was worried Cerberus might try something. Did you get the data? Most of it. He downloaded some before I could stop him. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? Suggests it's a blueprint, so a technically weapon, at this point we still really don't have a clue. Quantifiable levels of destruction. Send me the data. We'll do our own analysis. Unquantifiable levels of destruction. Right, this <laughs> might be the key to stopping yeah. the Reapers. I hope so. Caden's been hurt. We're taking him to the Citadel. Sorry to hear that, Shepard. But we both know this is just the beginning. Talk to the Council, show them what you found. With luck, they'll give you all the support we need. And if they don't? Do whatever it takes to get them on board. I see both Anderson and Hackett are undying Hack optimists. Relying on the Council. Commander. Yeah. Edie is extracting data from the Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach the Citadel. And Caden? I've done what I can for him, but we need to get him to a medical facility soon. The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Unless yep. we stop the Reapers, yeah. But it'll mean fun for I've us. I've looked at the data. This weapon could be the answer if we can build it. I get the sense you don't quite believe it, though. Yeah, what do you want me to believe? Like I said, you just have a blueprint and you have no clue what it's good for at this point, so... It's hard to believe. You didn't see what they did to Earth. How is one weapon supposed to stop them? What are our options? You know we can't win this conventionally. Commander? Isn't it worth trying, at least? I'm gonna check on Caden. Make sure what we're ready our to options. present our findings to the Council. I'm sure Hiding the a Council cave somewhere, will see the need to help. <laughs> It'll be a hell of a short war if they don't. But yeah, that wouldn't be Shepard. Hmm. 
add a citadel. This is so nicely done since Mass Effect 1. I really like this one. This is really nice. Again, kind of weird without the music. But hey, it is what it is. I like that it looks like, you know, like a, a flower. It's opening and closing. Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking him? Not Where's looking so good. Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with? We need to see the Council. Right. Ah, Bailey. I like this guy. Looks like they might be coming to see you. Commander Shepard. Got word you were arriving. Captain Bailey. Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Though it's Commander now. Congratulations. Uh, thanks. <laughs> that question mark at the end. Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. None taken. So you're here to bring us to the Council? I'm here to tell you the Council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here <laughs> at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. Yeah, we'll do that. Thanks. I might do that. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's Ooh. office. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. I'll be right there. The other half of my job. Different hair I'll color. I'll see you around, Shepard. No doubt. He had a bit more grey hair as uh, in, in Mass Effect 2 as far as I remember. Okay. Ah, yeah. The reporter. One of the two. But you're on the norm Which I right. both don't like. Yeah. Did Commander Shepard escape? She did, didn't she? So why would she be here unless she's seeing the council? I'm standing right here. You don't have to. Commander Shepard. Yeah. Huh. According to the council. What's going on here? Commander. Just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I suppose you want an interview? Even better. I'm a military reporter with the show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room. That's and a good this question. War needs to be won. Why I've would a normal person want reporters around them all the time? You get veto power over the segments no. I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? <sighs> okay, that's the advantage here with her. I mean, we can still say yes and then throw her out later if, if she's too bothering. So... Uh, yeah, let's do a trial run. We can have some additional support. Tell your producers yes for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One footlocker. Aye, aye, Commander. I'm not fond of her, neither am I fond of the other reporter. 
don't remember the name right now. Okay, so there's the Normandy. I will probably go around the whole citadel, you know, just to gather quests and maybe look at shops, etc. But I will probably cut this. It's not really so important. I will just play the visit with the council and then probably the one in the hospital. But yeah, the rest is not so important. So let's say for the moment. An important discussion here waiting for us. Dr. Chakwas! Shepard, there you are. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shouter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Caden took the worst of it. How is he doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Major Elenko's resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. Yep. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. I have the feeling she looks younger, so like in like in Mass Effect 2, so I think they did the same with her like they did with Bailey. They look a little bit younger. <laughs> it's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Shepard a war criminal? No. No. Not Shepard. Yeah, let's get Dr. Chakwas to the Normandy. Your place we is in her. Normandy's medbay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. So you can still decide to say no, even after the first round. I think we stay with Welcome aboard. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker's still aboard. <laughs> and I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. Yeah, she will go nuts in, in the labs. And not the lab type Dr. Chuck was, as far as I know, and as far as I remember from the conversations with her. Let's go and visit Caden. Poor guy. Hey, Caden. Don't know if you can hear me, but since you can't tell me to get the hell out either, I'm gonna take my chances. Don't die, Caden. You've got to fight. We need you in this. Seeing you in action again reminded me you're a hell of a soldier. The Alliance could sure use you. I could use you. Yeah, but the doctor standing right there you is so anything, weird. Doc, let me know. Come on, Caden. Fight. And that's an order. Yeah, this was so weird when I was playing it the first time Mass Effect 3. Like, you lose one of your squad on in Mass Effect 1, then you decide to save one of them, and the other dies. And this is the one whom I have saved, and now it looked like he's going to die as well. So this, when I was playing it for the first time, this was like a very surprising moment and not in a good way. So I was really hoping that nothing bad happens and that this person doesn't die, so yeah. I think the the game when you play it for the first time is uh, can be quite emotional or can evoke a lot of feelings, especially when you've played the whole trilogy. 
Um, yeah, now I'm playing it for the end time. I don't even remember. So it's I have a bit of a different reaction than somebody who would play it for the first time. But it's still it's still a moment where I pause uh, with this visit in the hospital because it uh, the the poor guy really doesn't look so good. This Bailey, I think, here, so let's go and visit Bailey. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The council's simply not granting interviews at That's this time. That's the other reporter. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. <laughs> Bailey's awesome. <laughs> Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. Yeah, you for sure. Yeah. Damn press. See, so you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. <laughs> Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. Yeah, many of us are not. If you didn't want to be up, why do you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. <laughs> I know, squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. <laughs> oh yeah, I pick now this is this one, this renegade option because the reply is awesome. <laughs> Politicians are the weeds of the galaxy. <laughs> if that was a bumper sticker, I'd stick it right here on my desk. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Yeah. He has quite a big office, although a bit empty, I would say. Yeah, looks a bit empty. But let's chat a little bit with him. I'm up to my neck in trouble, but if there's anything you need, I'll do my damnedest to help. It was Udina who made you a commander, huh? Yeah, he's become an even bigger shot around here. Got a lot of ambition. He suspected Executor Palin was conspiring against the Council and had me investigate. Find anything incriminating? Yeah, enough to arrest him. And when Palin resisted, I was forced to kill him. Udina rewarded me with the promotion. And near as I can tell, being a commander just means I'm putting out different fires. That's an interesting uh, reward for killing someone, being promoted, but yeah, <laughs> I guess that's the military for you. Is the Citadel gearing up for war? Uh, there's a false sense of security here. Even people from worlds that have gone down act like they're safe. Well, I guess it's not just human nature. We all lie to ourselves to deal with horror. I do this every morning when I have to get up and go to work. <laughs> Anything important going on around here? <laughs> you kidding? With the Reapers running roughshod through the galaxy, it seems like the Council is in constant session. We got more ambassadors and dignitaries here than ever before pleading their cases. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. Thought things were relatively quiet here. Well, compared to where you're coming from, sure. But the war is being felt everywhere. Millions across the galaxy have been displaced, and most of them come here. Must have you doing somersaults. <laughs> yeah, already allocated the bulk of my men to customs, but we're still overtaxed, cataloging and processing them all. Yeah, it's still a big contrast here. Like, it's so quiet now, and... Comparing that to 
to Earth where you have to fight your way out, basically out of the planet and the same on, on Mars. It's it's quite in an interesting contrast. Yeah. You got loved ones out there? Somewhere. Ex-wife I lost track of and and a son and daughter. They're still on Earth. I'm sorry, Bailey. Yeah, I'm just like everyone else. I'm losing myself and things I can control. And at the moment, that means creating the illusion of security here. We both have jobs to do, Bailey. I suggest we do them. Yep. Good talking to you, Shepard. Commander, Counselor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. They weren't We've got very our own problems, Counselor. friendly Earth in the previous in Mass Effect. But Earth was the first Council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. Yeah, technically so she's right. And so we follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? Some sort. So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hackett. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? I mean, I understand the reservations. But still asking, like, if this is going to work, like, what's the other plan? So, do you have anything better to offer? It sure as hell beats standing around and arguing about it. Yeah. And while I haven't always agreed with Udina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop it, Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. Oh, the Solarians the are scared. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider Adi. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. It's technically not a bad offer. Like I said, I understand. Shepard, meet me in my office. Not so helpful I hope at that's the moment, an offer of but support. yeah. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. <laughs> We may have a spot on the council, but humanity will always be considered second rate. How can they yeah, be politicians so blind? are the weeds of the galaxy? They're scared and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Vidorian called the war summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. 
Yeah, I'm going full renegade here on this guy. If you have played the first two games, you you would understand why. I told you this would happen and you did nothing. We can argue the past later if you like. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war and you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <laughs> and Shepard's not Our so fond of the idea. Says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various How resources generous. will be made available to you. Good day. I think ah, I have all the resources I need. Well. <laughs> it's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. One pistol. <laughs> Thanks. And that's it for today. To watch the next part, you can click the vid which will appear here. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned and game on.